Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, started to heat up here with very, very high winds. This is really uh, temperatures in the middle to upper 80s um, are 10, 15 degrees higher than normal for this time of year. And when we get those hot temperatures, it brings very, very high winds. And that's what we had to experience this weekend. So we'll start with our disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar as shown. What a sad day we have for the United States. There was another uh, mass shooting, uh, the largest mass shooting in U.S. history, 50 killed, 200 wounded in Las Vegas. Uh, I believe the gunman and his accomplice, the gunman, I believe, was killed. I'm not sure. The accomplice is in uh, custody and... Um, it, again, you know, it's the 15 minutes of fame that these people are after out there. Uh, as far as news around the world, um, North Korean ship carrying 30,000 rocket launchers uh, seized by Egypt. wonder where those were going. Monarch Airlines files for insolvency. Britain's biggest ever airline collapse. Um, China's PMI greater than forecast. Uh, so we have mixed news around the globe. Equities are higher. Um, 25, 25 that we talked about last week was the next stop is within reach. I think the e mini's high is 25, 23 plus. So stocks are up. The dollar up. Treasuries and gold down and that's going to be the thing why are treasuries lower the fed's going to increase interest rates in december and three times in 2018 is the current belief that's the fed dot plot um, and the economy is getting stronger so everything is pointing to higher interest rates and i think rallies will continue to be sold so we have news this morning manufacturing pmi 53.0 will not get much of a reaction. ISM manufacturing 58. Chicago's manufacturing PMI was 65 plus. So this ISM number might actually make that 58. If, it, if Chicago PMI number had come in lower than forecast, and this was the forecast, I would guess it to be lower. And construction spending plus three tenths. I, don't, I just can't remember the last time we saw a beat by construction spending. It happens every now and then, but not often. So the news focus will be ISM manufacturing, direction of the E-mini, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I believe we're in a trading range market with a down bias. Selling against 125.20 is the trade. Uh, you can just see it right here. We're a ways away from it. So this is very, very aggressive. 7 to 11. Sell 1. Structurally right here. 7.5 uh, sell. A 9 sell. So 7.5 to 9. Picks up that area. 12.5 picks up the... Uh, mode and then 16 and a half or more is the place we'd love to execute but I don't know if we'll get up there uh, as it stands on the buy side um, 29 to 01 is buy one 21 to 25 is buy two and our 15 to 19 picks up where we'd really like to get short don't know if we can get there, though. 
God, I hope everybody's football team did better than mine. Uh, Tennessee, once again, has spent a lot of money. Didn't go out and get a top-tier coach. Got an up-and-comer. And he's done a lot of good things. Except he can't coach at the level that he has to be able to coach to play in the SEC. So he's on his way out. Uh, but it just, we have so much talent on that team that's being underutilized and is not being trained up. And that's always the coaches when they don't get, don't get better. Okay, looking at the 30-year, first resistance would be 20 to 24, so 27s to 31, cell 1, 3 to 7, cell 2. On the buy side, um, 4 to 8, number 1, so 29s to 01s, buy 1, let them get stops over beneath that. And 17 to 21 by 2. With China during the Golden Week, they won't be players this week, so um, it should take a little bit of um, the volatility out of the markets. Hurt volumes a bit. Not a lot, but enough. And today we have India, China, Hong Kong, and South Korean markets are closed. Holidays. Okay, there's no reason to own gold. I don't know, Jeff, if um, uh, that's the case or not. We will find out, I guess. Okay, here's the break in gold is at 80. Looking at big picture stuff, uh, you can see the next little stop on that. That's 1260. I mean, 1265 area down here, 1265 plus or minus. And the attractors at 1257. That's, that's the magnet right there, the high volume number. So it looks like we're are headed for that. I don't know. I, I've seen um, God, I, what I've seen on antidepressants are suicides. Uh, those are dangerous things to mess with. Okay, we're at 75. The low is 74. So we'll play for a little bit lower. 70, 72 by 1. 65, 67 by 2. On the uh, sell side, 78 to 80, sell 1. 83, 85, sell 2. But the idea to go out and just start firing into a crowd to kill people. That's one screwed up dude. Okay, dollar is very, very strong today. Uh, Europe, the EU, will be impacted by the um, Catalonian vote. I think 90 is either 82 or 92, somewhere. Anyway, the vast majority of them wanted to secede or form their own uh, nation. And uh, Spanish police, I, I mean, it was they were beating up citizens just uh, going to vote. Uh, so, again, the state will do anything to preserve itself, including attacking its own citizens. And the problem for Spain is, is that I've read 40% of Spain's GDP comes out of uh, Catalonia. 
and that would be a hell of a hit for Spain. Um, so they will fight it. After all, those politicians need the money, right? And um, so right here at 118 even, a pretty clean break in the market. So 18, 18, 10, sell one. 18, 25, 35, sell two. On the buy side, 1775. You know, and I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the United States, you have to do a lot of stuff that most people would rather not do to get elected. Lots of evening meetings, stuff like that. And so I'm sure that politicians <laughs> feel like if they do finally get the office they've been seeking, that they, um, seeking, they deserve it. And if there's a little extra money or a little cash on the side, what the hell? They deserve that too. Okay, the... Um, the rally was off the Kurdish referendum, where 92% of those people said they wanted to get elected. Uh, so what's the first thing that happens after that vote? Iraq sends troops to Kirkuk. There is oil production in northern Iraq. There is a refining complex at Kirkuk. Uh, that oil can be shipped out through Turkey. Uh, we, we had a hell of a day that day because we figured that that news wasn't... Uh, referendum that it wouldn't happen uh, anytime soon and so we may still be seeing the effects of that right now um, the worldwide economy appears to be growing um, the OPEC deal will be rolled over in November and they'll cheat and produce as much crude oil as they can with Iran and Iraq who are formerly a part of the agreement, leading the way with the world looking for cuts from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the Gulf producers to maintain a semblance of uh, parity between supply and demand. So 50 is a pretty round number. I think we're headed for that. So 50, 75, 51, sell one. 51 and a quarter, 51, 50, sell two. On the buy side, 50, 50 and a quarter, buy one. Stops below 50, and the attractor down here is at 49.21, so 49 and a quarter, 49.50, buy two. Uh, fundamentally, we always like the short side of the market because there's more supply than demand. At this moment. Okay, the E-mini, uh, last week we said next trading target for those that are in our coal pro call program that can uh, purchase puts and calls 25 to 50 points away. You're in the 25-25 call when we went through 2,500. If we hit 25-25 today, you'll roll from the 2025s to the 25 50s calls and your last position will be a loser. Uh, right now pretty clean break in the market in the 15 to 17 area. Uh, the high was 23.50 um, so we're in the same situation we're in. You know sell failure to take out 350 25 25. Uh, we like the long side of the market 29 to 31 is the next sell. On the buy side, 15 to 17, buy one. And it may take a 20 to get in. Uh, we'll just have to see. And then 10 to 12, buy two. PMI, 53. No one will pay any attention to that. ISM services, 58. That number, based on the Chicago PMI, could actually come in at that level. And... Um, 
construction spending up three tenths of a percent. Never see that one hit. So the focus is ISM service uh, manufacturing in 25, 25. Okay, it will take a while to get stuff up and posted. Got some more writing to do. And um, I will uh, be back with you as soon as possible.